is all about intellectual revolutions. By the end of this topic, you will know and understand intellectual revolutions and how they changed and transformed the society. So yung inter intellectual revolution is a period where a great shift happens or happened from humanity's search for truth through the aid of speculation about the nature and faith. No? And then nagpunta siya sa pure reason, yung rationality or thinking capacities. No? So nariya na yung science and math, also yung different discipline. No? So dati, uh, based sa history ng philosophy, uh, for mere observations of things up high, no, heavenly bodies, stars, astronomy, no, myth, stories of creations, oral traditions, no, ito yung study of God, and then yung mga stories, and then cosmogony, and then the faith, na ang concentration ng field or discipline na theology, nagproduce na something more on reason. No? They separated their thinking activities dun sa notion na merong someone who is guiding their thinking, no? which is yung nga, yung tinatawag natin na si God. No? So dito na pumapasok yung philosophy. No? And then ito si philosophy na pure thinking or pure reason, yung kanyang method of reasoning or getting the answer from their questions, no? nagproduce siya ng iba't iba pang disciplines. Ito na yung math and science. No? Mas nag-satisfy yung questions ng mga philosophers through computations, through mere observations. No? And then, ito si science, naranak pa siya na isa pang branch no? or discipline. Ito yung application ng uh, science, no? yung technology. Plato wisely combined all these works of pre-Socratic philosophers. Si Thales, sabi niya, water ang pinagmula ng lahat ng bagay. No? Si Adaxemenes, air daw. And then si Heraclitus, hindi water, air, kundi fire. And then si Empedocles, no? pinagsama niya yung four elements. And then si Democritus, atom. No? Pinagsama ni Plato. And then uh, he believed na mayroong four elements including another elements which is atom and then it is adopted later by a student na si Aristotle no anyway uh, si si Aristotle no siya yung teacher din ni Julius Caesar no uh, si Aristotle nung student pa siya ni Plato sumusunod si Aristotle sa turo ni Plato no na yung perfections no na sa uh, inborn no and then yung knowledge natin, inborn. And then nung namatay si Plato, yung teacher niya, no, uh, nag, nagpalit ng thought si Aristotle. No? Pinalta niya yung turo ng kanyang teacher. Ang sabi niya, hindi totoo yung turo ng teacher natin na ang truth ay inborn, ang knowledge ay inborn. Dapat siya ay na-experience natin para malaman natin yung, yung truth. No? So uh, Aristotle was a son of a physician in the Macedonian imperial court no so may access siya sa laboratories no sa clinic no yung Aristotle was always with his father no? doon sa laboratories making him exposed to science no uh, and then itong tatay ni Aristotle kilalang kilala si Plato ni enroll si young Aristotle kay Plato no and then he was actually recognized as first scientist. No? He observed, si, si Aristotle, no? he observed and record the growth order of chick from egg. No? He named some species and its anatomy. He also classified organisms in relation to hierarchy, which is now the so-called kingdom animalia. No? There, where the Renaissance scholars who were uncovering other Greek authors who contradicted Aristotle, no, this was unsettling. No? Since these scholars had a reverence of all ancient knowledge, itong mga pre-Socratic and then kay Socratic, ang Socratic philosophers natin ay tatlo, no? si Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle. No? And then dumating ang Renaissance its scholar, sinusubukan nilang irespeto yung in na uh, discipline ng Socratic and pre-Socratic kaya lang may conflict sa nakikita nila as they discovered itong mga aparatos no? at saka yung mga devices. No? And then mayroong part na talagang uh, hindi tumutugma 
sa philosophy na well respected during their era no the reason why merong skepticism or they doubt your existing beliefs or knowledge no and then here it comes itong free thinking no and then speculations and then nag-experiment sila and then hanggang sa pumasok na yung uh, intellectualism no itong modern science 